This guy is Leahy Benbury, and he may very well be responsible for all the cool kids wearing Crocs these days. Every major brand wants to work with him as he just keeps releasing banger after banger. From the Crocs Polex to the Peace Be The Journey New Balance 2002R. Today we're going to take a closer look at his work and learn about how Salehi Benbury is changing the sneaker game. Salehi's journey as a sneaker designer starts here in New York City. Naturally, coming up as a young buck in New York, you're going to fall in love with sneaker culture. And during the era of Nike talk and campouts, Salehi was there. This wasn't just a hobby for Benbury, it was his calling. His love for sneakers and fashion led him down the path of design, ultimately guiding him to pursue his studies at Syracuse University. And upon graduating, he landed a job designing footwear for Payless, where he cut his teeth learning how to design budget footwear for men, women, and children. After a short stint working for Dame Dash, he finally landed a design position at Kohan. Fun fact about Kohan, Nike actually acquired Kohan way back in 1988, but later sold the company in 2012. The company has been able to hold its own and, in my opinion, has really found a niche market for innovative dress shoes for men. Anyways, one of those innovations can be traced back to Salehi, who along with Jeff Henderson, designed one of Kohan's best sellers, the Lunar Grand. The Lunar Grand features a classic dress shoe aesthetic, but infuses them with a contemporary flair. The upper part of the shoe maintains that traditional dress shoe look, but the sole is more sporty and hip. Lunar and Lunar Grand comes from Nike's Lunar Lawn cushioning technology. Since Nike owned Kohan at the time, Salehi and the team used Lunar Lawn technology for the sole. It was also characterized by bold and colorful colors that contrasted with the traditional uppers. It was quite a significant release for Kohan. So when I was working a regular 9 to 5, I strictly wore Kohans. The cushioning I don't think is Lunar Lawn anymore because Nike sold the company obviously, but they're definitely one of the most comfortable dress shoes I've ever worn and it's all I wore when I had a day job. After a stint working for designer John Buscemi's direct-to-consumer shoe brand called Greats, he landed a job at Yeezy. Like most designers who worked at Yeezy, Leahy had to sign an NDA, which basically means you're not allowed to talk about the specifics of what you do at Yeezy or like what products you're working on. And because of that, there isn't much recorded info of Salehi at that time, but I do know he worked on the footwear for Yeezy CC Season 3 in Yeezy Season 4 and he worked on the military boots but that's about it. There isn't that much information about his time at Yeezy. I'd imagine working for someone as rule breaking and forward thinking as Kanye West has to have a huge impact on your creativity and specifically your creative problem solving which is exactly what he took with him on his next journey. In 2017 after cold DMing a Versace executive on LinkedIn, Salehi Banbury was able to convince them to start a footwear line and soon after he was appointed director of men's footwear. How insane is that? There the partnership lasted over three years and obviously covered a lot of ground, but the shoe that everyone associates Leahy with is of course the Versace Chain Reaction. The most prominent feature on the Chain Reaction is the exaggerated, almost cartoonish chain-linked outsole, which by the way, is not just a mere aesthetic detail. Salehi drew inspiration from Versace's iconic chain-linked necklace, transforming it into a functional part of the shoe's design. He also integrated other Versace design language into the shoe. The toe of the sneaker features braille inscriptions translating to love. The silhouette also incorporated Versace's iconic Greta and Medusa motifs throughout the design ensuring that the shoe was unmistakably Versace. One of the dope things about the chain reaction is how they promoted it with wrapper 2 chains. I mean look at this shoe, it's literally made for 2 chains as the outsole is literally two chains. He went on to design a whole line of footwear for Versace, including a runner called the Trigreca, which I think is really dope. I would love to cop them if they weren't a thousand dollars. I've never been someone who's into high-end luxury shoes, but if I had the money, I think these would be the very first pair of Versace shoes I'd buy. Salehi also made a big splash at New Balance. As many of you guys have noticed, New Balance has been having their moment in the spotlight these past few years with an incredible roster of talent on board. Joe Freshgoods, Hedy Santez, and Salehi Benbury have all been a part Part of this uprising. Salehi's first collab with New Balance was a striking one. He chose a New Balance 2002R for his canvas. The 2002R is an old New Balance model that came out back in 2010 but failed due to its high price point. I think it was like 250 bucks, something crazy like that. But thanks to the rising trend of dad shoes almost a decade later, New Balance successfully brought the model back. Salehi's collab was released at the peak of this successful comeback. It was dubbed the New Balance 2002R Peace Be The Journey, which is a saying from Jamaica. It became famous from the 
comedy film Cool Runnings. A funny story about the Jamaican Olympic bobsled team. I gotta rewatch that, it's a good movie. Obviously, this saying means to find peace in your own journey, your process. But for Salehi Benbury, it means something even more. Every morning at 7 a.m., Salehi goes on a two hour hike to start his day. This hike is his own peaceful journey, and this is where he found the mental clarity and the inspiration to come up with the idea for this shoe. The burnt orange colorway of the Peace Be the Journey 2002R is inspired by Antelope Valley, which is filled with hues of tan and clay, and it's beautiful. There's also a layer on the upper that is of sponge like material which has become a signature for Salehi's work with New Balance, along with the use of Harry suede. On one of the heel panels is Salehi's fingerprint signature. They also released a blue version of the shoe, which was named Water Be The Guide. It's really dope, and I think both of these sneakers were some of the best drops of 2020. Which one do you guys like better, the orange ones or the blue ones? Also, if you're enjoying this video, why not give it a like? Salehi's inspiration from the outdoors did not stop there. In 2021, he and New Balance released a reimagined 574 dubbed the yurt. The 574 yurt is a bold departure from traditional sneaker designs. Leahy reimagined the silhouette, creating a shoe that feels entirely new while still retaining the essence of the OG 574. But the most notable feature on the yurt is a protruding whistle on the back of the shoe, a first in the world of footwear. I've never seen a sneaker with a whistle on it, it's crazy. This functional element is obviously a nod to Benbury's love for hiking and outdoor exploration. And the whistle is not just a novelty either, it's a practical tool that could be used in an emergency emergency situation. When these dropped, they were everywhere on social media. People were like making memes of them, like blowing this whistle. It, it was it was wild. I don't think I could ever pull them off, but if I had to choose a colorway, I'd probably go with the pink and blue ones, but definitely a game changer. All right, so probably my favorite sneaker he has left his fingerprint on, no pun intended, is the New Balance 990B2 Sand Be The Time. This collab, like many of his others, is inspired by, you guessed it, the outdoors. This collab in particular was inspired by the coral pink sand dunes of southwestern Utah, a theme that is reflected in the shoe's design. The upper of the shoe is constructed out of a really premium hairy suede and ultra breathable mesh in a misty rose color that evokes the hues of a desert landscape. The midsoles mimic the earthy tones of the surrounding cliffs, creating a harmonious blend of colors that encapsulates the essence of a desert environment, like literally. The New Balance N logo is made of a purple passion Chanel. I freaking love this shoe. I actually it shortly after writing the script for this video. His attention to detail is evident in the design. His signature wide spacer spongy mesh thing is all over this shoe. That alone sets the sneaker apart from others released this year in my opinion. The release of the shoe was accompanied by a campaign featuring bassist Thundercat, further amplifying the buzz around the shoe. They sold out immediately via his brand Sponge's website. There was also a second drop with New Balance, but both of those sold out real quick. You can still cop these for under retail though. All right, so as you can see, he's changed the game with his work at New Balance, but among his many collaborations, his partnership with Crocs was the real game changer. Benbury's work with Crocs has not only elevated the brand's aesthetic, but also pushed the boundaries of what's possible in shoe design. The collaboration between Salehi and Croc culminated in the creation of the Pollock, a shoe that has become a symbol of avant-garde design. The Pollock is not just a reinterpretation of the classic Croc, it's a complete transformation. Again, inspired by Salehi's thumbprint, the Pollock invites the world to see footwear in a new light. I mean, these just look insane. Look at them. The swirly aesthetics invite commentary and curiosity. Like you immediately want to know what the heck is that shoe? The use of his fingerprint in his designs has kind of become a signature motif for him and I can't see him doing a design without putting his fingerprint on it from now on. It's like his brand. He beefed up the Crocs outsole traction for better grip. He reinforced the heel and the toe with rubber for durability. And he chose a nylon strap to make the strap last longer than a regular Croc. Even the perforated holes were meticulously designed to ensure the wearer's three smaller toes remained covered. I don't want to design this beautiful thing and then the most raisin pinky toes are popping out of one of the holes. Holes. They actually just dropped a slide version of the Pollux for all you weird toe loving people. One thing I will say about all of Salehi's designs is that all of them stand out in the world. Like they stand out. And on Instagram where a lot of sneakerheads and fashion influencers live, that goes a long way. Another notable collab he did, which I forgot to mention, is his work with Chinese sportswear brand Anta. Actually it's not even a collab, it's an original silhouette that he designed for the brand. Their collaboration resulted in two original models, the SB01, SB01, 
SB standing for Salehi Benbury and the SB02, both of which showcase Benbury's signature technical and conceptual design aesthetics. The SB01 is a high top that features an inner booty encased in a neoprene TPE shell. It's kind of a fun shoe to experience because you can choose to wear it with the inner booty by itself or together with its counterpart. It's designed to be able to be used on the streets and hiking on the trails as well. The SB02 on the other hand is a low cut, highly detailed hiking inspired sneaker. It features a layered upper made from neoprene elastic knit and TPU with unique cutout detailing. The sneaker is held together with a beef roll lace system and sits above a chunky midsole that's made specifically for hiking on trails. The colorways are all colorful and beautiful and if you're looking for a sturdy hiker, you can't go wrong with these. When they released, both models served as a launching point for Anta's new nest cushioning technology. It's a midsole that's inspired by bird nests that Slahi would see while he was on his hikes. This innovative technology, which is going to be used by Anta, is a testament to Benbury's ability to draw inspiration from nature and translate it into functional design. I mean, he did it with the chain, he's done it with a bird nest, he's done it with his own fingerprint. Slahi is easily the most exciting sneaker designer in the game right now. He has a 1906R dropping with New Balance later this year, and you know I'm going to be trying to cop a pair. Alright, that's the end of the video. See you guys. Bye.